In today's Money Watch, we're sharing tips on how to do a mid-year money review. Now that we're more than halfway through 2023, time flies. <laughs> but that means now is the time to take a close look at your expenses and subscriptions so you can save money for the rest of the year. CBS News business analyst, Dollar Dollar Jill Schlesinger is here <laughs> to join us. So before we get to the mid-year review, the Federal Reserve just raised interest rates again. So what does that mean for people who are trying to save money right now? Well, it's great great news because now you're going to continue to earn more interest on your savings, your checking accounts, your short-term CDs, some of your money market accounts. The key is it's going to take a little bit of work because sometimes if you're at one of these big, huge banks, you're not getting paid that much interest. Mm. All you need to do is go online. There's lots of aggregation sites. You can check out, say, best high yield savings, best CDs. Just make sure you've got FDIC insurance. Remember, we learned that lesson in the spring. Keep the accounts under 250000 not hard for most people, and you will be getting 4 or 5% on your safe money. Man, that's amazing. Yeah, yeah that's like going Jill, in a time machine. I told you, I waste money. I know I am, especially subscriptions. Mm. What, what can I do? Well, you know, there are some subscription consolidation services that you can hire up, and you can do that. But I've got to tell you, even if you look at this and you say, okay, I want Mint or Trim or Pocket Guard, you know what the best person to do it is? You. Because only you know what you really need. Right. So do you really need Apple Music and Spotify? Maybe. I don't know. But what you, we really are trying to tell people to do is focus on it, because those things that you subscribe to, maybe even during the pandemic, they automatically renew. It takes a little bit of effort. Yeah. And you may think it's stupid. Ah, it's not that much money. It adds up. Well, right. That's Quickly. the whole point. <laughs> you run a comb through all your subscriptions because by the end of the year, it can really add up and also consolidating, right? Yes, absolutely. Right. And I, I want to point this out because there are these things that uh, sort of leave a trail. Let's think about how many people switch jobs, for example. You have many, many people job hopping over the last three to five years. And what happens at every job you leave is there's a retirement account there. And we leave those poor orphaned retirement accounts, and there they are being neglected. So what we... <laughs> These are Cameron all things. my things so, right now. So the reason yes. why... <laughs> Talking to your soul. Right. Right. Yes, exactly. exactly. Glass so of water you, for Dana. Exactly. So we want you to consolidate them. So if you consolidate it, it's easier to manage. Sometimes you pay lower fees, and it's just easier to manage when you do that. So if you've got a 401k at work, get those old 401ks in there. If it's a Roth 401k, get the Roths in there. One place. All right, the Biden administration, they're working on uh, limiting these junk fees. How do you spot junk fees? So these are like very nefarious in some respects. You know about a lot of them. They're late charges at banks. They're credit card fees that really accumulate pretty quickly. They really do. So what we really think is the most important thing to do from the financial perspective, let's look at the big picture. You've got bank accounts. What am I paying? Hey, I never realized I paid a fee for not having enough money. So sometimes by consolidating even your bank accounts, you could avoid some fees. Mm -hmm. Maybe what you ought to be doing with a credit card balance especially, set up an automatic payment. If you look at your little statement, comes online and says minimum payment is, let's say, $25. $25 every month automatically from your bank account will absolutely save you from those late fees. Mm -hmm. Category by category, you got to go through it. All right, Jill Schlesinger, thank you. You've saved us and you've helped Dana. <laughs> <laughs>